I warnish all my pieces of the new galley, but now I need to move here. There was a lot to do the last episode, preparing the chart table, preparing the floor, preparing everything. In this uh, period of lockdown due to the coronavirus issue, I was quite lucky because with the help of Franco, we finished 99% of the work inside Alos. Now it's time of uh, preparing the electric connection, organizing the installation of the pole of the extension, the pulpits, the bottom with the copper cord. I have all the summer to do. Guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today is the day that I will install the fridge. You can see there, I prepared all the fridge, brand new, to install in his position. You will follow me in um, this task, how to install your own fridge. The fridge have the electrics, everything, so I try to do the best, but I don't do the connection electric. I will call an expert because I'm electric is not my best part. I understand nothing but i will install it you will follow is the same of the original that was installed and all the all are the same all the connection and all the control are the same now i only prepare everything because i need to bring the ice box just inside there the original one and after that install inside the fridge so now i will install all the electric from there to there. First of all, I need to install the sensor. Okay guys, this is the support for the fridge. It is stainless steel 316. Original one was in uh, iron or rust. Now we'll use this one. We will install. And this is the fridge and all the stuff. The fridge is fixed, it is all stainless steel, so I have more uh, heat dispersion and I like very well. It is easy to heat if you have some stuff inside the lockers. So now I will install the protection just here. This is the protection for the fridge. Something happened and I don't risk to destroy my fridge. I have all the surface here protected and I will install here the 220. But we can say that 90% of the job is done. So great.
So friends, now I need to understand where I can put the 220 supply, power supply, just over the compressor or just below. Uh, advice from you is very welcome. Let me know where you want to put the 220 power supply. I'm very happy to join your advice. Now we move inside to fix the evaporator. Yes, definitely install the evaporator in the fridge is a very boring and difficult task because the space is very tight. You need to make a lot of difficult, a lot of effort. To you can imagine how difficult it is to install the evaporator support. You don't see nothing and it's all tight. Oh my God. And also drilling in this position is quite impossible. You need the correct tools to do it. I spent, I think, four hours to install the evaporator inside the icebox. My God, never again. I use a mirror on the bottom of the icebox to see where to put the screw in the hole. My God, very difficult. It's time to install the control of the bridge. Uh, fortunately, I used the same model that was installed 30 years ago, and fortunately, all the holes are the same. But I don't know, anytime you try to use the same hole, it uh, doesn't work very well. So I spend one hour to fix this stupid plastic box. Today is another day here at the power plant and just was very early this morning to fix the fridge and the box, ice box, because it's a lot to do. Make and install the fridge is quite boring when you need to follow the same hole in the correct uh, uh, path for the hose. Well, oh, it's quite annoying. I'll show you in a moment inside the ice box was what I did. I completely changed the plate that cover the exit of the ice box. And now from the other side, I need to uh, make more insulation to avoid the cold go out. I installed that one that is quite annoying to find the same correct hole that was originally installed. So in, I, I completely remade all the holes, fixed the other and installed the evaporator. And this take a lot of difficulty because you need to work like that and it's quite annoying. But inside here, I completely finished. Now I need to finish the box in the other side put some foam to make uh, close all the holes and after that put the uh, the cover and the insulation. But before I do that, I need to test if the fridge work. So I need to make all the connection and try with the power if uh, work. The fridge just installed. Now I need to make the connection and try with the original adapter, 220 adapter for use in the marina, if it work. First of all, I need to remove the protection. Okay. I would like to thank uh, Domenico of Dometic Italy that helped me a lot to fix the cable here and explain me how to connect all the fast tone in the correct position because I'm not very clever in the <laughs> electric stuff. So thank you Domenico for helping me and Domatic first. Okay. Plus and minus. And we go. Mm -hmm. 
the compressor work. So guys, at the end, my fridge, brand new, worked very well. I need to make isolation of the hose over there and close this hole. I put some foam here, polyurethanic, to fix the hole. And now we need to fix here. I will put some tape because here with the cold make drip of water. I need to protect this hose because it's very easy to get condensation here. I will use the neoprene one and we will go. Guys, I use neoprene, you can see in the bottom, in the top, uh, high density cells, and after that, the last layer of, of uh, neoprene. And here we are, high density cell. We'll cut another one of this one, neoprene. Okay guys, this is the plate of Corian that will cover the hole. Already prepared, it's four millimeter Corian. Now I will make all the holes, countersink, installed. Job done, all the cross screw, like a cross. <laughs> I protect here more to avoid any broken of the, of the cable, electric cable. Now I will use some plastic hose to cover all this one and protect from the environment, environments. And after that I finish here for the moment. I'm waiting tomorrow that this glue make the his work and after that I will install here the 220 power for the fridge but before do that I need to paint white and after that uh, install it Installing this corrugate pipe completely took away all my skin in my fingertips. Oh my god, it was very painful. But at the end, the result uh, was great. I finish all the installation. Now I will put some block here to maintain fix this cable. Uh, all is completely perfect.
I 90% fix my my hose for the fridge. Okay, friends, all my fridge is installed. I need only to fix some screws and job is done. And here we are. We are approaching another world. You see all these shit holes? Okay, I need to make a new piece of mahogany that cover all this hole and prepare the new hole for the water pump, foot water pump. So I need to change this one. This is too small for the new cabin floor because I don't put the hole in this uh, way. So now I will uh, make the exact position of this, uh, of this piece of uh, mahogany and after that I will put the new one. You will see how is my work. Okay, <laughs> now, now we test the panel. Okay guys, I try my new weight pump and uh, it's very, it's the same of the old one, so I can get the same hole on the panel. I will make more bigger here, a little, and we go. And here we are guys, you can see the new base for the, uh, for the cabin floor and you see all the holes, now they will be covered by this panel that I already uh, veneer. Now I will fix, I will take the hole for the well water pump, after that I will cut at Franco factory all the hole and I make a very nice uh, finish. But this is the raw panel that need be, to be varnished.
and this is the panel that cover all the holes this is the nice part that need to be warnish i make this little bigger because i will use a mahogany uh, insert here to get a very nice uh, aperture for the foot water pump now i will test if all is correct and after that i will cut the piece of mahogany and send to warnish every all together so now we go inside and we check if all is okay <coughs> this is the whale water pump uh, just all around the whale water pump there will be a mahogany piece that make very nice and cover the plywood white sign inside we see in a moment okay Sand a little here. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it and I wait your comment, so write your comment. I would like personally reply to you. And if you like my video, remember always to leave thumb up. We'll you. see in the next episode. For the moment is all, and Gabriele say, hi.